Hi, I'm Celine Tulip, and today I'm going to do a demo and show you how to do some coding with portals in Java. So I have my Dr. Java window open here, and the first thing to notice is that I've got a file that's the public class Turtle Demo. So this is my code file, and the class is called Turtle Demo, and the actual file, turtledemo.java, shares that same name. These have to match. Inside of the demo file, I'm creating a world. My world is called W. So this world W says I want to create a new thing called world, and the new world here says go ahead and match it for me. Um, and inside of my world, I'm putting a turtle. I've decided that my turtle's a girl today. I'm calling her Mimi. So here you can see the same kind of pattern. I'm creating an object that's a turtle object. I'm giving it a name, Mimi. And this command here says make me a new turtle. And in this case, I'm giving some instructions. The 100 and 200 are where I want the turtle to be, 100 across, 200 down in the window. And the W refers to this world. So it's saying, put this turtle in that world that I just created. So to test this out, I'm going to hit the Compile button. And then I'm going to Run. And we can see that the world has come up. And there's my turtle over there. And she's about 100 over and 200 pixels down the screen. So that's all good, but it doesn't do anything very interesting yet. So I'm going to close this, and now I'm going to try to tell Mimi to do some interesting things. What's important to know is you can look up what things that our turtles can do by going over to the documentation. So the documentation over here is in Simple Turtle, and this is a big, long HTML file if I open it in my browser. But what I really want to look at is this thing called the methods. And you can see there's a whole bunch of things. I can make the turtle go backward. Um, I can make the turtle go forward. I can, there's two different forward methods. If I don't give any information, the turtle will move forward 100 pixels, according to this description. Or I can say how many pixels to move forward if I use this forward method. I can get information about my turtle, like the body color. So there's a whole bunch of get calls. I can get the pen width, get the pen color. And then if you move down, there's a whole bunch of set calls. So I can set the heading, which is the direction the turtle's facing. I can set the color, which is the color of the turtle. I can set the pen color, which is the color that the turtle will draw in. You can see there's many, many methods here. So if I flip back to my Dr. Java window, I am going to change Mimi, the, the pen color of Mimi. So I'm going to say Mimi.setPenColor. And I'm going to make Mimi's pen color red. So we're going to try that. And then I'm going to make Mimi actually just move forward a little bit. So Mimi.forward. And I'll say I want Mimi to move forward 200 pixels. So let's compile this and run it and see what we've got. There we go. Wow. OK, that moved Mimi all the way up to the top of the screen, which actually makes sense because I told um, the program to put maybe 200 pixels down. When I move Mimi forward, she's right at the top of the window. So that's maybe not as far as I want to move her. I'm thinking I want to make Mimi draw a square. So maybe I want to move, move her only halfway up and then make her turn and so on. So let's see if we can make this happen. So I'll change this so she doesn't move 200 up. She only moves 100 up. And then I'll tell Mimi to turn. And I think, hmm, what are the turn methods? Let's go back and look at the documentation. So I can tell her to turn left or turn right, or I can tell her to turn by a number of degrees. So let's try a couple of these out. Let's tell her to turn right, like that. And then let's have her move forward again, and we'll see how far that gets us. And we'll have her move forward the same amount. And let's compile and run and see what that looks like. Okay, so that looks good. We've got about half of our square drawn now, so we can just actually repeat this. Um, and I'm going to try a different turn method. I'm going to try giving it by giving it in degrees, and I'm going to say a right-hand turn is about a 90-degree turn, so I'm going to put in 90 there. We'll see if that works. And again, have her move forward 100 pixels, and turn again. We'll try the 90 again and have her move forward another 100 pixels. OK, so let's compile this, shut down the old one, compile this, and then we'll run it.
All right, look at that. We have Mimi has drawn a perfect square with a red pen. So this shows the kind of thing that you can do with turtles. Now, we could make this code a little bit more efficient. There's some repetition here. Sometimes we've called turn right, sometimes we've called turn 90. Um, we could actually put this into a loop. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to say for int i equals zero, i less than four, because we're gonna have to make four sides of a square, i plus plus. And you saw a structure like this when you did ear sketch. And I'm going to put all of this in brackets. So four times I'm gonna tell Mimi to go forward and then turn right. And then I can get rid of this and we'll see if that does the same type of thing. So again, we'll compile and we will run. And here we go. So this was fewer lines of code because we used the loop to repeat, moving forward and turning. So that's kind of cool. Let's try and see if we can make Mimi do something else. So let's move Mimi over to some other spot after she's drawn her square. Now, can, let's figure out how we can change Mimi's position. Um, I want her to move somewhere, but I don't want her to draw a line while she moves. So let's have a look at our documentation. Um, and I'm gonna type Command F on my Mac. You could type Control F on a PC to search in my browser window. Um, I wanna search for pen methods. Um, and I want the pen to go up. Okay, look, there's a pen up method. Okay, so, if, oh, and right above that is a pen down. So now I see I can pick up the pen and pick it and put it down so that I can control when Mimi draws. So let's do that. So after she's drawn the square, we're going to say Mimi.pen up. And then we want to move her somewhere. So how do we move Mimi? Let's type in our, in, the, in HTML file, move. So we can just move forward. Is there another way to move? Let's see. Move to, oh, look at that. There's a move to position. All right, so let's try using that. We have to give it an X and Y coordinate. So let's go back to Dr. Java and say Mimi.move2. And let's put her somewhere else completely in the window, like 500, 400. We'll see where that gets her. So that should be about 500 over and 400 down. And then we'll put the pen down again because we want her to start drawing again. And then maybe we can have her um, do a triangle. So I'm going to tell Mimi to move forward 50 pixels and then that'll get us started on a triangle. So let's compile that before we get any further and see if that's doing sort of what we want. Okay, so there's our square that Mimi draw, drew, and then there's no line from where she left off over here, so Mimi's moved over there and then drawn a 50 pixel line. So that's cool. Now, if I want Mimi to draw a triangle right here, I need to make her turn, but if she turns 90 degrees, that's not quite what I want. So I want her to, I want the next line to be an angle. Um, so let's see. I want her to turn not 90 degrees, but a little bit more. Um, inside of a triangle, the three angles have to add up to 180, so they should each be 60. So if I want a 60 degree angle right there, if I turn her 90 and then another 30, that should give me 60. So let's have her turn 120 degrees. Dot turn 120, and we'll see what that gets us. Mimi dot forward, make her move another 50 pixels, and let's compile and try that. Okay, that's looking pretty good. We've got two sides of a triangle. So now if we move, have her, have the turtle turn 120 again, that should hopefully get us around to having another 60 degree angle here and move again. So, Mimi dot turn 120 and Mimi dot forward 50 and we'll see if that closes our triangle. There we go. So 
we have had Mimi draw a square, we've had Mimi draw a triangle, um, we've moved Mimi, we've picked up the pen. Why don't we change the color so that the triangle is a different color? So set pen color, maybe we'll do blue for the triangle. And um, let's think about how we could shorten this code as well. So we'll make a loop so that um, the triangle is drawn with just a couple of lines of code. And there's three sides to a triangle, so we're going to count up to three. And then we can close this loop and get rid of these extra lines of code. And let's try that one more time and run it. And there we go. Mimi has drawn a red square and a blue triangle with just not very many lines of code over here. So that's a hopefully a nice demonstration. The last thing I want to show you is my folder. So if I look in my finder window, here's the file for turtle demo.java and there's the turtle demo.class. So the Java file is the file that I'm editing. That's what you see here. The class file is what is created by Dr. Java when I hit the compile button. And that's what the computer actually runs to pop up the window and do everything. I can actually just delete this class file. And if I come over here and I hit the compile button again, you'll see that the class file has been created again. So when I run, it's running that class file. All right, hopefully that gives you a good sense of what's happening when we're playing with turtles in Java and gives you some um, ideas for things that you could try out with turtle coding. Um, remember, always go and look at that, uh, the HTML file, the documentation file, because the methods here can give you lots of ideas of things you can play around with and try out. All right, good luck and have fun playing with turtles.